hello guys and welcome to this new video here we are talking about android things and how to set up our environment and start with the starter kit let's get started so what is android things android things is an operating system uh, developed by google and it's uh, a special version of android that will be installed on raspberry pi or other uh, hardwares or other uh, supported boards and this operating system will um, allow the uh, android developers to develop applications for the iot devices to make uh, like home automation applications or make any kind of uh, iot um, device or script so what will we need to uh, start developing for android things uh, first you will need uh, hardware you it's uh, first of all one of uh, the three supported uh, boards it's uh, one of them is the, uh, the intel edison the nxp pico and the raspberry pi 3 in my case i have the raspberry pi 3 this is the starter kit from Bamaroni uh, for the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, you will have uh, the Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, a case, a small case for the Raspberry Pi and also the rainbow hat which uh, have a combination of sensors and uh, display on, on board. Also you can check uh, Adafruit or SparkFun for uh, other uh, development kits. After you get the hardware, uh, next step is to set up the development environment. First of all, let's download the latest version of Android Studio from this link. And it's um, I'll cancel the downloading because I have already the, uh, the file. Let's start installing. It's a normal wizard, just you can go and like next, next and install everything. It will take a while because this is um, a lot of files being copied and installed. After the uh, Android Studio is finished, you will need to have the image for uh, the Raspberry Pi. You will find all of the links in the description. After that, you will extract this file. Insert the SD card uh, into uh, like a reader and insert it into uh, plug it into the computer if it's not formatted it's uh, preferred to format it with the sd formatter in my case uh, i already have some data on the on the sd card so i'll uh, format this one after formatting i'm using the 132 disk imager uh, select the image of the Raspberry Pi and select the device which is the SD card letter make sure this is the right drive for uh, the SD card and load the image and then click on write this also will take a well, this also will take a few minutes After copying the files, uh, eject the SD card from the, uh, the from the PC and insert it into the Raspberry Pi. I have connected the Ethernet cable, inserted the SD card, and uh, of course the, the keyboard and mouse, and plug in the power and start booting. Well, this is the first run of Android things. It will take like minute and a half. 
after that you will have this screen which has the big Android things title and you, if you have uh, connected the Wi-Fi you will see an IP address here but in my case I have connected the Ethernet so this is uh, the IP address so now we finished installing the Android Studio we flushed the image into the Raspberry Pi and we connected uh, the Raspberry Pi to the power with the Ethernet and the keyboard and mouse it's not uh, necessary to have a keyboard and mouse and let's now run one of the sample codes let's try the sample PIO from the GitHub let's copy the project link and open the Android Studio let's check out the project from uh, the version control and paste the sample pio.get and the directory name will be sample dash sample pio when uh, if you press uh, clone and uh, maybe if you have this error if you get this error this says that the SD lo sdk location is not found uh, define the location in, with the sdk.dir in the local.property file or with an android home environment variable so in, in here let's uh, make um, a new file and we call it local.properties and in this and in this file we will write sdk.dir and we will paste the directory for uh, the sdk in my case it's uh, this is the SDK directory. Update and after that we we see that we have button BW bus with modulation and blink. Let's choose blink and uh, run the application. And when you run the application, uh, there is a dialog that says that select the development target. In this one, we will uh, need to open the uh, command prompt or the terminal and the SDK directory. And let's adb connect android.local. And it will pop up when it's connected, it will pop up in the connected devices. Press OK, it will deploy the application on the Raspberry Pi. And now the blinking is running as you can see. Uh, for the wiring uh, diagram or ho how you can uh, wire the, the the LED with the Raspberry Pi and the example page, there is a wiring diagram. I, I followed that uh, diagram to wire uh, the LED, the resistance and uh, the Raspberry Pi. Well, this is the Blink application. If you have uh, the, the hat from Bimaroni, let's use it to run the weather station application. It will be the same steps for, uh, uh, I did the same steps here for uh, the sake of time. I have cloned the application and created the local.properties file with the SDK and run this application on uh, Raspberry Pi and as you can see that uh, the weather station is taking the values from the uh, temperature sensor as you can see it's pretty straightforward and if you have a knowledge in android development that this will be easy for you i think it's it's uh, the code is familiar there is nothing to change it or there is no new libraries you will use the native uh, android development to uh, android studio to develop apps uh, with the raspberry Pi and read from the sensors actually if you uh, think about uh, the mobile phone itself it's of course uh, shipped with a lot of sensors on board uh, like the accelerometer there is a camera there is um, uh, some mobiles even have a temperature sensors 
uh, I think they just uh, using the same code to access these uh, sensors on the Raspberry Pi board. As you can see that we run the two applications on the uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, in this case we already deployed the apps on the Raspberry Pi so if you disconnect the power and connect it again you, you don't need to open the Android Studio and make the same steps again. Uh, the application is already you can run, take the uh, run instruction from uh, the sample website in the terminal uh, you execute this command and this is will run the weather station application without opening uh, the uh, android studio i encourage you to go and check this uh, the website for the android things and also to check the android things samples and also if you want to have the hardware uh, you will find the link in the description to purchase the uh, starter kits from by Moroni, from Adafruit and from Sparkfun. Thanks again for watching guys and if you have any question feel free to post it in a comment below and if you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe this will help the channel a lot and uh, have a nice day.